morning. Um, it's so much nicer having room in the garage. <laughs> Uh, I just buttoned up that project there, the motor, for this. Um, if you watched that video right before this one, actually, I don't know if anybody noticed, but sitting on the bench here with all the tools was the gasket for the intake for that. So I had to actually, I was putting the tools away, I found it, I had to take it all apart and put the gasket back on. But um, on to the other part of the mini bike. What I'm going to do with this really needs to be cleaned and I want to repaint it eventually. That might have to wait till next spring, though. Um, this sprocket and tire, I want to replace it, I know it's on the wrong side for you guys, I'm going to have to turn the bike around. But um, this sprocket here, you can see there, from when I blew out a tire, ground some teeth off. And this is a 72 tooth sprocket. I want to switch it to a 60 tooth, which will give me more top speed and less torque. And I'm not so worried about the top speed of this thing because it is already fast enough. It does just over 30 miles an hour, which is scary on something that's that small. But um, I want less torque being put to the wheel from that motor because the motor's kind of overkill. Um, and I also need the slots here for the motor mounts. I want to slide them I can't tell which way the motor from upside down. But uh, I want to slide it over a little more so the sprocket and the clutch, the rear sprocket and the front sprocket on the clutch line up better. And I'm going to get rid of this because it does work pretty well, but it sticks way out and catches me in the back of the leg all the time. So, um, tires got to come off. I'll, once I get this all off, I'll show you more what my plans are for this and why I'm having such an issue with this. So, uh, I'll bring you back. You don't need to see this process. This actually looks like it's loose. But um, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so I got it off. Um, brake drum, bolts on there, four bolts. My issue with this is, this isn't a standard mini bike tire. This is from a wheelbarrow. Let's see, you got your outside bearings here and there. Sprocket there. Normally these sprockets, you can see these bolt holes, there will be a plate behind here that the sprocket sets on, the hub centers itself on there, and you bolt it down through the drum. You know, like that. It holds it all together. My issue is, since this was for a wheelbarrow, it didn't have the plate back there. Someone just welded the nuts to the sprocket, welded the sprocket to the rim. This side and this side are identical. It is welded it right to the hub here. So I'd have to either cut this one off, weld a new sprocket on, you know, my 60 tooth one that I want to buy, and hope it's straight, which this one they did an extremely good job. They were whoever built this mini bike did a really good job because this is all home built. This isn't a made one. Um, or factory made one. What my plan uh, is, is I'm going to take and cut, let me switch hands here, this sprocket down like that to make this the flange and then I'll bolt the new sprocket to this and then I'll have the clearance all the way around all I'll have to do is adjust my shims because that sprocket the new sprocket will be sitting next to where this one is and then in the future if I ever want to change sprockets again all I got to do is get the right bolt pattern but I need to measure what this bolt pattern is, because I don't remember. Okay. That is two inches center to center. It's a two and seven eighths across. Um, that center hub is going to have to be 
Let's say two inches I could get away with. Two and an eighth would be ideal. Um, that on a 60th sprocket. So yeah, um, I'm going to get online, see if I can find one with those measurements. Got to cut this without damaging the rim or tiger. Because these things are not fun to change with this all bolted on there. It's hard to get at the speed. But once I get this cut off, it'll actually be easier. I do want to get a new tire for winter. Um, I don't know if that'll be in this video or next video, but hopefully I can get one. They're pretty cheap. Got one in mine. It's a really nice tire. I think you guys will like it. All right, got that cut off. Um, you can see here. I did end up finding a cutoff wheel for the grinder. Uh, I got the edges cleaned up with a file. Just kind of took off the sharp edges and stuff so I don't cut myself up. Um, let's see, now I made a flange to mount the new sprockets to. I did find them online, um, that and the tire. Put them in my wish list cart just to save them for now. Um, Got a couple other things I want to get before I order that. But uh, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Um, I'm not gonna film cutting off the kickstand or anything like that. So uh, that'll probably be the end of this video. Um, just got some cleaning to do and then waiting for parts. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll uh, put a link to some of the other videos for mini bike project stuff, I think, in the description. So, uh, thanks. Uh, I'll see you next time.